I got this call from Who Talked and Loves. At uh, yes, I know you you have your own songs that that you 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 bring, but mm-hmm. listen to this one to come with that. <laughs> yeah, you know, eight-year-old son loves that song, oh. especially that part when it goes. Oh, oh. oh. you you know, like, like oh, when back, <laughs> when I was singing yeah. that, uh, I was picturing myself on on a mountain, calling, calling everyone, come and listen, come oh. listen. Such a busy person. Do you have time for family? <laughs> yeah. By the way, are you are you are you married uh, with kids? Uh, are you able to find mm. time for them? I'm not married. Mm-hmm. I got divorced. Are you are, are you happy now where you are? And uh, are the kids fine as well? Mm. And how many are they, by the way? Seven. Oh, okay. Mm. He's got seven kids. Mm. Uh, same mother. No. Unfounded reports about the city of Ekuruleni having uh, gotten, um, you know, adverse uh, audit outcome, uh, which is completely uh, contrary to the reality because mm. the city of Ekuruleni under the MMC of Finance, Commissar uh, Kolele mm. has in fact achieved a clean oh, audit. Oh, for sure. But the, 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 the media is not, uh, you know, reporting about that because it is the EF. Stand up South Africa! Make sure that South Africa you are counted with me! Run South Africa! Stand and make sure that our people understand that the need to be revolution in South Africa is guaranteed that under the EF this country will be the better. EFF is a COVID thing. Now we look at the uh, Sports, art, and culture, the sector. And you also look at music, the music industry. What are your thoughts on the South African music industry? Because no doubt there are twists and turns. But in retrospective terms, do you think the industry has ever transformed? First of all, the as, as South African music, it has changed, you know. The look, the the young people, uh, the music is is on par with the rest of the world. I mean, oh, it's going so toe the, to toe. The, now. I'm telling you, the yeah. productions yeah. are beautiful, top notch. But we still need to change the 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 legalities of it, you know, the legislation, so that uh, the people are protected. Mm-hmm. And you are an MP. You 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 serve as an EFF member of parliament mm-hmm. uh, in the National Assembly and also you're a, a performing artist, you're a musician. How do you find the balance uh, between your music career and your political work? Well, uh, EFF had, had given me, you know, the leeway to do my, uh, you know, performing, uh, you know, duties as, uh, as a, 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 an artist mm-hmm. and also at the same time I uh, have to be, uh, you know, follow the, the the work that is done in the in the national uh, you know, assembly, mm-hmm. where we're dealing with the uh, you know uh, passing laws. Mm-hmm. So definitely, they these they that have to be able to to juggle it very 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 carefully. Yeah, Vumakam Nandi is undoubtedly uh, a national anthem. <laughs> I mean, if you go like. Uh, I'm a fighter for Kile Kwelesho. Yo. Fight and the table. Take us through this. <laughs> well, you know, um, I remember uh, I got this call from um, Dr. Ndlozi. Mm-hmm. He said, look, look, man, uh, you know, because I also had some of the songs to, you know, to give. So, you know, they could be uh, put on, on, on the on, on the fifth jazz hour album. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but, you know, Donald Lozzi is 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 a ver- he is a beautiful producer. He doesn't know that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he is. <laughs> and you know, like he he came with this. Listen, there's this song that mm. is uh, known, but leave it, give it. You know, life you mm-hmm. know, as as if it is yours. And then you know, yeah. And then um, you know, we we got to get uh, stay. Uh, mm-hmm. Bengu on uh, trumpet and Senzo Mzimela 
on the trumpet, on on the trombone. Mm-hmm. Ah, but da ba da ba do. Let's go. Take it, take, ah, yeah. take, it, take it away. Take it away. Let's go. You. Let's go. Just oh, give us a snippet. Just mm. give us a taste of that song. Ah, I'm a fighter, figgy like well issue. Fight and it for my come nande. For my come nande. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to it. This is the EFF uh, podcast. My name is. Uh, Titus Tungu, the people of uh, South Africa, Africa, and the world. We're coming to you from uh, Winima Digizela Mandela House. I bring you this week's edition of the EFF uh, podcast. And with me, I'm joined by the legendary uh, musician. He's also uh, Vumakam Nandi, as you've had, a hit maker. And he's also uh, the EFF uh, member of uh, parliament, a fighter, Ringo uh, Madlingos, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise. Fighter Ringo Madlingos <laughs> is here with me. Um, uh, welcome thank to the EFF podcast. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Mm-hmm. Now, I want us to traverse through your musical journey, but first and foremost, I want us to look at where you come from. Mm. Uh, who is uh, uh, Ringo Madlingos? Where were you born? Can you just describe your upbringing? Sure. Look, I was born in. Um, Somerset West, uh, mm-hmm. in uh, in the heart of Cape Town, um, and uh, I grew up in uh, Guguletu, first mm-hmm. with uh, my mother and father in NY one eleven, and then all of a sudden I was moved to back to to my mother's house in Langa, then again I was moved to my grandmother in NY forty seven Guguletu, and later on, uh, I, I, I went to live with my father. Uh, with my second mother mm-hmm. uh, in Google to second form. Well, and uh, I, I look, I, 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 the 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 place, the the neighborhood yeah. that I grew up in is um, we, we we never had role models at that time. Mm, very positive uh, role models vanished. In, in 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 our in our time when we were young, mm-hmm. we only uh, you know looked at the the gangsters and uh, drug dealers as our role model mm-hmm. because we never had you know the the people that we looked up besides the reverends and the teachers you know yes there was there was a teacher that uh, I, I I you know uh, I used to you know adore and 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 love you know the Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, it was very, very uh, volatile, you know, um, environment living in in, uh, in Guguletu at that time. Yeah. Mm. When you look at Guguletu now, is it still as volatile as it was? Well, yes. The now it's spreading out to other places like Kailich and then. Basically, you know, the, the life life is not uh, as you know. It, it, young people are not protected. Mm. They have never been protected, mm-hmm. you know. And and I thought that it would be better now these days, but now it's not like that. It's actually regressing. Mm-hmm. And uh, let's look at your your, your family tree. Uh, yeah. um, your family, your parents. Um, mm. uh, how many were you at home? Well. Um, with uh, my my mother, uh, it is my sister, the late uh, Upinki, who left us mm-hmm. last year, and May my soul continue my, to rest in peace. Yes, and my brother, and myself uh, from Mama, and then the the second mother. Uh, we have two brothers, mm-hmm. uh, Jordan and Angela. But at the same time, with my mother. She continued to have other kids, uh, my sister, beautiful person, Tandi, and my brother, mm-hmm. Tando. So what I can say is like, we are <laughs> uh, five, uh, mm-hmm. seven. Okay. Yeah. Family of seven. Yes. Today you have grown up to be a very inspirational uh, person. Mm. Um, a legend in the music uh, <coughs> fraternity. Did you see yourself growing up, uh, or did you see yourself becoming a musician, a powerful and popular musician that you are? And uh, at what age, in fact, did you 
start um, uh, to have interest in music? Well, I grew up loving music. I grew up listening to radio band. Okay. Because I'm from Cape Town. At that time, it yeah. was Radio Bantu mm-hmm. and uh, Radio Huya Wop or Good Hope mm-hmm. or Radio 5 or 5 FM, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, I would uh, sing most of those songs, some of the songs. I, I didn't even know how to pronounce those words oh. and what they meant, you okay. know, because they were English songs. And, mm-hmm. and remember that time, uh, the, 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 there were no great teachers who would uh, really teach us English. We were taught English in, in its course. <laughs> oh, yes, I know that. <laughs> you, you know? Sure. So um, mm-hmm. so when I get, you know, at school, you know, I, I would get the, the young kids wanting to, for me to sing their, you know, hit songs. Mm-hmm. And ma- mainly to be girls who would want me to sing oh, the yeah, songs yeah, and yeah. then I'll sing the songs and get, you know, they give me five cents, two cents. Then, mm-hmm. But I, I would have all those, you know, little coins, you know, coming in. Mm-hmm. And um, only later on in my life that my mother told me that um, when I was young, as three, I would uh, keep a note, hold a note and uh, sing songs and I would create uh, melodies, you know, out of, uh, I, would, I would put words in melodies that, mm. that I would be hearing. So I would more like creating songs mm-hmm. as I was growing up. Young as that age three. So I realized that I've always been someone who just loved to sing. Mm-hmm. You're talking more about your mother. Mm. Uh, did you have any strong relationship with your father? How oh, can yeah. you describe it? Oh, yes. Um, I, 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 both my, my mother and father, I, I have tight relationship with them. And they are still alive. They are old, you know, 80, 88 and 80, 82. So it's like, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, yeah. excuse me. But yeah, I, 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 did, I, I do have that tight, very much tight relationship with them. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, my, my, my father doesn't, you know, uh, talk too much. You know, he just keeps oh, yeah. quiet. And, but then my mother and I would get a lot of information from her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what did you learn from your parents? That is very <laughs> remarkable. Love, respect, and uh, humility, and always uh, not to rise above anyone, but to always keep grounded. Mm-hmm. Mm. Which school did you uh, go to in uh, Google? To what was what are some of the uh, fond memories that uh, you mm. can share with us? You know, your high school days, your primary school days as mm. well. I started uh, going to school in 1971. Mm-hmm. Uh, sub A, Omnan, Sub A, Omkul, Sub yeah. B, Standard 1 and 2. I did that in um, Lita Primary School, a school that was behind my, my grandmother's street, mm-hmm. NY46. Mm-hmm. And um, then I went to Luzuko High School, where I did my standard three, four. And then while in the standard four, uh, there was an uprising, 76. So there was no school. Uh, there was burning everywhere, you know. And, and at that time, as kids, we never even uh, had actually knew what was happening because uh, we were not very much conscientized, you know, in, 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 in politics at that time. Mm-hmm. So there was no school for 76, 77. Then 78, still no schooling. 79, uh, my parents uh, took me to Transkai. Remember there was that um, uh, uh, country within a country that was created by the apartheid government. Oh, yeah, the homelands. Yes, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I went there uh, in um, St. Michael's. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I did my... Um, uh, I sent a six there, mm-hmm. seven. And then I had to go to St. John's College now in Imtat mm-hmm. when I started uh, my standard eight, mm-hmm. nine, mm-hmm. and ten, which is like uh, grade 12 now. But uh, I, I didn't finish my standard ten 
in St. John's College because mm -hmm. I was more uh, involved, you know, in, in um, getting information uh, with uh, UDF affiliated uh, organizations like mm -hmm. the the Young Christian Movement. Okay. So uh, we got to be detected that we were doing that in Transkei. Then we were suspended, went back home, Cape Town without writing my, um, you know, metric. So I wasted another year, 84, then 85, then 86. Mm -hmm. I, I, I wrote uh, my metric under the JMB Joint Matriculation Board, which, is, mm -hmm. the, which was uh, only catered for the colored, uh, oh. you know, community. Mm -hmm. But it was a better education than bound education, mm -hmm. you know. So, yeah. And uh, that's how, and you know, our, our education at that time was just to be able to learn how to read and write mm -hmm. and also to serve white, uh, you know, establishment mm -hmm. and, uh, and sometimes people uh, that, that our, our, you know, fathers had to work for, they were very much illiterate, but because they were white, mm -hmm. they were given the, 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 you know, the boss, you know, status. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Did you sing while you were, because you said you started uh, singing at the age of three. Hmm. So when you were both in um, primary school and high school, did you keep the fire burning? Did you continue singing? Like you said, that people will give you uh, yeah. money for singing. Yeah. Uh, would you say that was a stepping stone? I've always been singing. Um, you know, Whenever I would come back uh, from school, you know, because I, I had to to wash my socks, and uh, because I had only one pair of shoes, mm -hmm. that is the school shoes, but a toughies. <laughs> yeah, toughies. Yeah. yeah, and then <laughs> I, I, I polished them, I put them aside, I wash my 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 sh my socks, mm -hmm. and wash my shirt. Mm -hmm. At first, it was a white shirt, but as as time goes on, it becomes brown because. <laughs> <laughs> it's being watched Rest, every time. Yeah. But then I wouldn't go and, um, you know, play soccer just like other, you know, young guys. I would uh, play drums in my uh, a grandmother's backyard. There was a shed there. I, I made my, uh, you know, makeshift drums where I would dug in a different uh, depth of uh, plastic containers where they would produce different sounds mm -hmm. because of different depths into the ground. Mm -hmm. Then I'll play and sing and yeah. So I've always been doing that. Yeah. Mm. So would you say that the apartheid uh, regime sort of threw the spanner in the works uh, in your education because you also talked about the student uprisings, the 1976 uprising as well. Would you say the situation at the time was not conducive enough for you to uh, pursue your your, your primary education? It was impossible uh, because it was, it was burning everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, the, you know, the beer halls, you know, uh, in all the, the entrances of, of, of these townships. I think, you know, the, that government created uh, townships the same. As you come into any township, the first thing you, you meet will be the big beer hall, mm -hmm. you know, and then, um, so, so like, the, the, the youth were destroying them mm -hmm. because uh, our, our fathers would be coming from work, and then they go, first they go past the, get, get, one, or two. get one or two, or even go and, 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 and go to um, uh, the ship in and, and, and uh, take uh, liquor by credit. By the time it's time to get paid, you know, from work, all the money must go back to, must go to the, to, to the, you know, shipping queen or shipping king, whatever it would be. Mm -hmm. So I think the youth wanted to destroy all that. Mm -hmm. And so there was fire everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So there was no way that, that, that we could um, go to, yeah, yeah, to school. So against all odds, how did you navigate your way through and ultimately becoming the popular musician that you are, how did you rise to fame? Well, when, when I, when I uh, got back to Cape Town, 
84 after being uh, you know suspended in St John's College I um I met with my cousin brother Makwe Mkhubata the saxophone player uh, and uh, his brother uh, Makoswange Mkhubata they were uh, with a group called Ikwezi Logusa mm-hmm. and uh, so I joined the you know the band but then later on the the, the name changed to Ipeto uh, like a, a township slang in Cape Town meaning friend so we entered road to fame 86 we won and um, we were the household name in Johannesburg 86 and performing in most of these clubs uh, there was a club in in uh, uh, Commissioner Street corner Commissioner in Resik it was mm-hmm. called the Jamisons we yeah. performed there mm-hmm. you know and uh, yes uh, and then Pedro disbanded so uh, so Sam went back to Cape Town. Mm-hmm. I never went back to Cape Town. I stayed behind. Why? Because I and I wanted to pursue my art. I knew uh, that. Do you uh, see greener pastures here? Oh, for sure, because there were opportunities here, and uh, of course, uh, a black man was not as as looked down upon as it was in Cape Town. Mm-hmm. You know, in Cape Town, you you, you would find that. Uh, if you're black, you are, you are the fourth citizen. Oh, you know, yeah, you're you see marginalized that, to I'm the telling cold. you, to the you 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 are the last, because it will be um, a white white man, an Indian man, a colored man, and a black man. So when I was here, uh, I I I I hanged around in 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 uh, in, uh, in all these studios, you know, and uh, Kirk Street. Uh, I think there it was called. Yeah, yeah, Gallo Record Company oh, yes. at that Gallo, time. Yes. Yeah. So um, I would go there and uh, do session work for other artists, mm-hmm. other principal artists oh, you know, okay. of that time, mm-hmm. where I would do backing vocals and, and I would make sure that I did my job thoroughly, 100% mm-hmm. dedication. Mm-hmm. And uh, that never got uh, off without being noticed by the producers of those artists. And uh, they would always want me to be there because uh, I give my all. And uh, they said, no, this, one, this young man is very good and he, he loves what he's doing. And I would never just do, you know, the backing vocals just because I would want to fix it without being told to fix it by the producers. So they, they really love me for doing that. And, um, and I did also the um, uh, jingles for different products on radio. Uh, I would sing, you know, for these products, you know, different, yeah. And, uh, yeah, my, my my name was known and uh, I, I got to be wanted left, right and center. And, okay. yeah. So which song particularly made you? The song that uh, made everything uh, is Sondela. Oh, Sondela. The, 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 the one that, the one that, 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 that yeah. blew myself up. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm. And just talk us through the genesis of uh, Sondela. Before you composed it, did you see it as uh, a hit? Did you know that it will uh, elevate you to the level where you are now? You know, um, Sondela was the last song on the album. Okay. The funny part is like most of these hits uh, are the last songs <laughs> mm-hmm. On the album, um, Sipon Bell, um, you know the one that that uh, my friend, uh, you know he he came with this rhythm like man, look, there's this rhythm. Yeah. We, we, we can do something about this, mm-hmm. and um, so we we changed it, you know, into elo- elongated into yeah. In the, yeah, and uh, went to the studio, put the song down within. Uh, one evening, the song was perfect, yeah. <clears throat> and it was mixed by a very brilliant uh, young engineer. And, um, you know, on the day that we mixed the song properly, without even, you know, uh, mastering the song, mm-hmm. we played it. You know, I, 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 I had this uh, golf one with... Uh, a lot of sound in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was so. rocking at the time. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Excuse me. And, and we went to, there was this 
a place in uh, Hillbro mm. where they, they used to sell chicken, uh, Fontana. It was the best chicken at that yeah. time. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't know, real, real chicken. Real chicken. Yeah. yeah. So we parked the car there, opened the, you know, the boat and played the song. Mm -hmm. And it was like pumping and people like, wow, this is beautiful. And, and the way it was done, look, even today when, when, uh, when I play the song, it is on par with the, uh, with the songs of today, you know. And um, the, the first guy that um, was given the song by the late Orak Shabangu from EMI, mm -hmm. uh, Oprah Ike Pasler, he was with Metro at that time. Mm -hmm. So he played this. And he said, man, I listened to it. He said, man, listen to this song. Yeah. He played it three times. You know, and people were crazy. about People calling in, I'm like, wow. Yeah. That's me on the, on the radio. Sure. And uh, yeah, the song uh, sold more than 300,000 within uh, two months. Yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. Yo, I think I'll be doing um, an injustice to the song if we pass this segment without <laughs> hearing <laughs> your vocals on, yeah. on, on this song. Just remind us of the days when you went into studio and sang this song. Just maybe sing for us uh, and take <laughs> us back. <laughs> Your favorite line on the song. Uh, it's it's the, the first beat. one. It's, the no, it's, a, <laughs> <laughs> it's the, Come on, it's, it's the first one. It's the, like, so, yeah. Sonjela standwa, Sonjela nalutandulwam Tattooed that line says everything is oh, yes. organized. <laughs> and I've heard your song in, a, in, in many occasions, sure. uh, mostly in weddings. Weddings, yes. People yes, love that yes, song. Yes, yeah. yeah. Ah, they would come in, come in and, and, uh, and be perform. part of, yeah. I like, okay, shop. But then, you know, uh, I had to refuse sometimes because uh, I was starting to become. A, a, a wedding singer. Oh, <laughs> like, no, no, yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, yeah. That's that. not the rule. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. So, the song did it receive um, uh, enough airplay? Uh, did you do a lot of marketing on it, or the song just blew up? The song was just moving on its own. Mm -hmm. Whether you know. DJs wanted to play it or not, but people were asking for it mm. in all radio stations, in all the you know the regions of like be it um, Bumalanga, uh, Limpopo, mm -hmm. KZN, North and Cape, East, mm -hmm. West and Cape, Gauteng. It was just blowing, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, so the song was pushing itself. Yeah. Mm. And this this one that is doing the rounds of Ngek Ndukulibale. Kum na kum. Oh, kum na kum. It's a very nice jam, eh? Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't you want to sing for us? <laughs> Let's hear. <yeah. laughs> yeah, because yeah. Uh, the ladies like the song. Mm. Yeah. What was the, the, the main theme on that on that song? Look, uh, you, you know, <clears throat> when when... when when guys are sitting down, mm -hmm. you know, say, say maybe you are just in front of me, you know, uh, Titus, and, and we're just talking, and then see a wonderful lady passing by, and, and I'll be like, hey, Titus, move a bit, because you, 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 you're blocking my view. And, and that is the first line of the song. Suka mfoyandu sita pekela. Let's go. It's like, hey. Yeah. I want to see this woman. Sure. Yeah, so that, that's what the song is all about. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's more um, like I'll, I'll never, I will never forget the beauty that we have. You see, that, that's, that's what uh, we're losing to mm -hmm. uh, always tell our women that they're beautiful. Oh, yes. You know? Most definitely. Yes, you know, uh, much as I wouldn't be able to to tell someone else's woman that you're beautiful, mm -hmm. that's not right. Mm -hmm. But a guy should tell, you know, his woman that, his own. baby, you're so beautiful. You're the best. So that 
Nah, when she's walking the streets, she feels herself. Oh yeah. yes, she knows that. You yeah, know, yeah, she's beautiful. Sure. Mm. So your music is centered around love, love, unity, unity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Why did you choose that route or that genre? Um, it's the it comes naturally, as I as I told you earlier on that um. I was, uh, and I'm still being. Uh, guided by my parents to always uh keep uh, you, know, you know you know the 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 humility mm-hmm. and uh love respect you know um but not to 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 cow down on some you know mm-hmm. have to be strong mm-hmm. but with a lot of respect yeah mm. when you look at uh the south african music landscape it is without uh no doubt that there are challenges within uh, the music industry mm. when you reflect uh, in retrospective terms mm. would you say the music industry has transformed thus far well first of all the the music uh the, the mu- today uh the production of the you know, of the young guys is on par with the rest of the world mm-hmm. and while it is like that um you know there are still people who take african art as a commodity that could be uh exploited you know um the 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 there are still people who 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 do not respect our uh, creative nature and at the same time uh, as as you know the 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 EFF is like uh, uh, advising that we need to give our artists a space to be able to uh, expose their work a lot of black artists uh, fine art don't get the access to go to galleries and to 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 uh, to expose their work as a result they 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 they, uh, they don't get the collaboration that they need you know and um <clears throat> all that uh, is is blocking the 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 growth within you know the the fine art people mm-hmm. but at the same time <clears throat> excuse me artists also need need to be very much uh they they need to know that they they are they are crucial in into into changing into into sparking the change mm-hmm. within and make sure that uh, they, they 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 change all this through their their artwork highlighting the injustices that are coming in mm-hmm. that they see mm-hmm. you know and um also uh, you know advocate uh, Uh, like equitable just society mm-hmm. uh, you know through through the art mm-hmm. you know making sure that uh, what they do uh, is respected and known not to sit down and say okay well now we can't help ourselves what do we do mm-hmm. take a stand you know mm-hmm. make that change and uh fighter ringo my lingos yeah you would know that we are um, on the edge of uh, the 2024 general elections yep. and the EFF uh, as the vanguard of the poor and the marginalized yeah. has got all the solutions <coughs> for every sector yep. uh, in every respect and when it comes to sports arts and culture mm. uh, the EFF uh, is straightforward because the EFF is not only going to expropriate land but it is going to amend the constitution to allow uh, for the expropriation of the intellectual property rights uh, to give back the ownership to the rightful or the owners, original right. owners mm-hmm. do you think that will uh, assist the artist to have ownership in almost everything and have the the necessary um recognition that they deserve oh for sure definitely uh, look as as i said before that i refused mm-hmm. to 
uh, to have my music being owned by the record companies. I said, no, I'm going to pay for my masters and I'm going to own them. Mm -hmm. you know? And through my own publishing company mm -hmm. so that uh, the, I, I have 100% rights mm -hmm. on them. Not many of us, you know, had to, to be given that opportunity into making it to work like that. I was very lucky that I met uh, this, uh, uh, the late Dr. Jim Grangil Filan. Yeah. Yeah. Who hammered in, in me that you must always own your stuff. Mm -hmm. You must always be in charge of what is coming from you mm -hmm. naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I'm glad that you know the uh, our organization is very much looking out for mm -hmm. for for young artists and also some of the, of, of the old artists as well that that they've lost you know they've dropped the ball yeah in in their in their careers mm -hmm. and also the EFF uh, always looks out uh, for for, for artists mm. and when it comes to the issue of uh, royalties as well the EFF is going to nationalize oh, for sure. distribution and the collection of uh, royalties. You said earlier on that you didn't allow any record label to own your mm. music. What are the challenges when it comes to the issue of royalties uh, when you are an artist and have sort of uh, a record label? What are the challenges that comes with that? Um, you see, there the, 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 are these um, col collection societies uh, mm -hmm. who, who are... Uh, going around and, and, and collecting uh, royalties. Some of them, they, they're robbing, uh, you know, uh, artists uh, where they, 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 don't, they don't document, uh, you know, your, your, the right name under your, 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 your creation, mm -hmm. your song. Mm -hmm. And most of the time they would do it, uh, you know, purposely to have, to write a wrong name Mm -hmm. under your song so oh. that it doesn't come to you so that they swindle the money you know mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, that's what the 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 EFF is looking at you know rectifying mm -hmm. where all those um existing uh, collective management organizations uh, for different rights uh, should be uh, very much uh, be 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 controlled mm -hmm. they should be you know under under strict uh, command from the government of the EFF. Mm -hmm. Were you robbed somehow at some point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes, you know, I, w <laughs> I, would, I would look at, uh, you know, some of these, uh, you know, uh, royalties. I'm like, no, man, but this song was big, but why am I getting so much mm -hmm. less? And uh, one song that I did with the late... Uh, Lawrence Machiza mm -hmm. and uh, Judith Sipuma, Kwaziban. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I realized that uh, Lawrence's name was not there. It was myself and Judith and a white guy that I don't know. I had to call them and say, no, 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 please. Put back Lawrence's name there. <laughs> it can't do that. So, the, the, yeah, these things are happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, because people are not very much uh, looking at, you know, the, these nitty-gritties of how to take care of our music. Mm -hmm. They let it slide, or sometimes they don't even know that they, their monies are stuck somewhere, you know, mm -hmm. in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. As we speak now, are you owning your own, do you have your own uh, record label? And um, what, in fact, uh, conscientize you to realize that, in fact, being under a record label is a trap. Um, yes, that is another part uh, of uh, being, you know, woken up when you realize that the record companies, <laughs> they, they just want to own yeah. your likeness, own your name, own everything about you and uh, publishing. And remember, if they own your likeness and everything, they can even replace 
someone and 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 call him Titus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. Boy, boy, they know they, they own the name. Oh. You know? Mm-hmm. So uh that sort of like woke me up like no no no. I have to have my own uh under my own uh, label. Mm-hmm. So uh I first uh created Ringo Malingo's music productions, RMP, mm-hmm. and then I created Rista Music. Mm-hmm. Uh Rista Music Records. Mm-hmm. Mm. so that it takes care of everything that is about the artist called Ringo. Mm. And your legacy as well. No, for sure, everything. Yeah. So now that you are independent, when people want to book you, uh, how, what, what are the channels? Direct. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to you. You don't Straight want to... any middle No, name. no, no. Direct. Yeah. 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 No, uh, you know i w- i would i would have a um a person that is doing the admin mm-hmm. uh, but everything is coming direct uh, then do the emails and the whatever the paperwork and everything and check mm-hmm. everything is is as it should be mm-hmm. uh yeah yeah mm-hmm. and people have known you for the better part of your life as a musician mm-hmm. and um <coughs> Now you're into politics. What mm-hmm. kind of impact has politics had in your <coughs> music career? And what uh, drew you into politics? Well, look, um, you know, I've I've always uh, been uh, a very uh, conscientized person. Mm-hmm. I... I, I I taught myself to you know to look around and and find out exactly who I am. Okay. And I realized that uh, I was not having the the best of clothes. Uh you know remember I I I I I had one pair of shoes that I I I was uh wearing that the school shoe otherwise mm-hmm. I had to take it off and play barefoot. Mm-hmm. But uh, <clears throat> through all that mm-hmm. um I uh, on on my, on my very first album called Vukani which okay. is Wake Up. Mm-hmm. Um I was uh dealing uh, about such issues mm-hmm. poverty around where I'm from. Mm-hmm. And uh the song the songs that are in that album mm-hmm. uh most of them they are about what is happening today you see there's a song that um was called uh kusela bandwan the song was all about please take care of the young minds in jails they might not uh, have known that they were going to be ending up there mm-hmm. because of uh, you know not getting the right uh, guidance mm-hmm. in life and also there was a song uh called Itemba <clears throat> a song that excuse me a song that dealt with uh, the 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 pain of going to school uh, on an empty stomach mm-hmm. where the child is sitting down trying to grasp what is being taught but couldn't and also uh, the song about uh, Abba Semzin at that time it was asking the current government at that time uh, the question is to how are you going to deal with the fact that with the smallest uh, land that we are given mm-hmm. when our brothers and sisters from our neighboring countries come in we are going to fight for this small space mm-hmm. of everything small space of uh, work so how are you going to be dealing with that and this is what is happening today oh okay so you had a giraffe view you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah about seems it for sure okay <clears throat> so you are in fact an activist through my music through your music that's right and uh music uh it's not only about entertainment oh, as sure. i understand it's also 
a source of inspiration. It can also conscientize. Uh, conscientize. It can also sort of uh, dictate the direction uh, of uh, the future of the country mm. uh, politically. That's because right. I remember uh, during the apartheid era, mm. the likes of Brenda Fass would sing, uh, we miss you, uh, Manelo, Manelo, but Mandela. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so those were revolutionary uh, mm. songs that were sort of uh, shaping uh, the future of this country. Black president. Black president mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. one of them. Mm. So you also took uh, inspiration for Brenda Fassi? Not necessarily because we were almost the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, we, yeah, she, she, yeah. Was, she was on the... On the, on, on the uh, um, popular side mm -hmm. i was on on, on on the afro jazz kind of kind of side so mm -hmm. we almost you know sing. but yeah. then yeah uh i guess i was more inspired and uh, uh you know it, it re really inspired by miriam makeba mm -hmm. uh kaifa simenya oh yeah uh, jonas guangwa um, look, Hugh Masigela. Mm. Uh, I was more inspired by the music of Bob Marley. Oh, yes. Peter Tosh. Mm. Uh, Legends. Pe pe people who, who were uh, unreservedly uh, talking truth, just like that, mm -hmm. uh, fearlessly. So, mm. Mm. Did you ever want to have a song with the people that you have mentioned, like uh, uh, Kefa Semenya, mm. uh, Miriam Makeba, mm. and uh, as well as uh, been my <laughs> Jonas Kwangwa. Have you? Always, always been my wish. Yeah. And I think uh, I, I spoke to Udate Brakats Semenya. Please, Tata. I have to do a song with you. And he's only yeah. like, hey, well, Rico, you talk about this thing, but you don't you never yeah. come. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. I will do it. Yeah. Definitely. Sure. So mm. what can we expect um, looking at South Africa or South African music now? Mm. There are a <clears> lot of um, uh, up and coming, um, you know, young artists sure. uh, that look up to you. Mm. Are you open to... Collabus, collaborations, what are some of the people that uh, you have collaborated with? You know, um, that's just the, the collaboration on, 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 its, on its own. Um, it develops one's music, you know, opens up doors, um, uh, boosts exposure, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, introduce the artist to the other, you know, audience. Mm -hmm. And uh, and also at the same time, uh, influences uh, growth in, in the music mm -hmm. knowledge. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's best, you know, uh, for a, an artist to do collabs. I did collaborations with um, different artists. You um, be 40 from uh, Britain, mm -hmm. that reggae outfit. Mm -hmm. I, we did a song together uh, that was assigned by the then um, uh, Kofi Annan, uh, who was into this uh, uh, open people's eyes uh, on this age thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did uh, a collab with the late uh, Oliver Mtuguzi. Oh, is it? Yes. Wow. In Doyam. Beautiful. Um, I did uh, collab with Judy Sipuma, mm -hmm. you know, beautiful artist, mm -hmm. jazz artist, mm -hmm. and the late Lebo Matos. I did, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. collaboration with Nomfusi, a, a, a rock uh, uh, star from Cape Town, but now I think she's in Germany. I'm not quite sure where she is. Mm -hmm. Look, collaborations are always, you know, the best yeah. to learn. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, Music, when you talk about uh, the people that uh, you have collaborated with, 
uh, I can see the passion, the enthusiasm in your yeah, face yeah. Yeah, yeah. that uh, there might be a likelihood that you are going to work with um, other prominent, um, you know, uh, musicians. Mm. But what would be the core of your messaging or the message in the music that you you are likely to uh, release uh, if you, you are going to release any music anytime soon? Considering the current uh, political landscape, considering the uh, contemporary issues that South Africa is confronted with, what do you think your message will be aligned with? Love, tolerance, mm -hmm. unity. Mm -hmm. I cannot stress that less. Unity. You know, today, uh, people with a lot of money, rich people are, are being uh, uh, busy uh, breaking us apart by, you know, throwing money, you know, uh, make us, you know, fight each other, you know, to, to unite. And we need to fight all those things, especially, you know, now, now that we are going to vote. Uh, the the rich families are, are busy creating <laughs> Confusion. a lot of uh, 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 you know uh, uh, organizations that don't even know what they stand for and uh, you know uh, people are, are, are being uh, you know scattered like like headless chicken you know uh, meanwhile we should be together we should unite we should know the truth. We should know what we need as a people. Because uh, no manga manga, we need our land. That is the main thing. We, there's nothing else we can do without our land. Mm. Mm. The Oppenheimers, the Minel family, the Rupert. They throw yeah. money left, right and center mm -hmm. to scatter us around. And mm. why did you choose the EFF as your political home? EFF is and was and will always be an organization that is pro-poor. An organization that will uh, bring back the unity, mm -hmm. the dignity mm -hmm. of a black man. Mm -hmm. An organization that will fight for for the rights of a black man in South Africa, in Africa, everywhere in diaspora. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at it, it is an organization that that is uh yeah that 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 loves me <laughs> as a person. <laughs> yeah. You know? And and an organization that is Fighting for you know the, the 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 policies of the EFF, they talk to me. The expropriation of our land without uh, compensation mm -hmm. for equal redistribution it means a lot to me, you know. And uh, the um, nationalization of the banks and mines, mm -hmm. you know, and all the the the. Uh, strategic sectors of our economy mm -hmm. that that is very important you know for for me to know and to understand that that is why I was attracted to it mm -hmm. you know the 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 creation and the establishing of of uh, uh, health uh, quality health quality housing quality life as someone who is important mm -hmm. you know and also to be able to know that the EFF will will create and and uh, create you know a state and and and, and government uh, capacity mm -hmm. that will eventually stop all this nonsense of tenders and everything. And I had to look at this and know, but that's that's where I want to be. That's where I I, I I want to be where people. Uh, uh, you know, a, a government that, that 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 won't block me from expressing myself without fear or favor. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. so I thought 
that is my home. So there was no any other home that I can go to. Mm. Mm. And what keeps you going? Um, what contributions have you made to the organization? And uh, you have been deployed in parliament. Mm. You're also continuing with your music uh, career. Right. How do you strike a balance uh, between your music career vis-a-vis -vis your political uh, deployment? Mm. Look, um, when I was uh, deployed by EFF mm -hmm. to be in, in that legislative house, mm -hmm. um, the organization saw the the real artist just like they they saw the real artist in 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 commissar uh, ufana yes you know mm -hmm. and how they they are still seeing uh, other artists who are brought mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. so that we go into that house and debate our uh, our real issues because we are still very much relevant and and taking part in this industry. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the EFF didn't do that just for show. Sure. It's real. EFF wanted to, to have the change mm -hmm. so that there are artists who speak and fight for artists and, and also, you know, the, 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 the uh, passing of the laws mm -hmm. that will protect the mm -hmm. artists you know, in today's world, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the this um, copyright, you know, uh, uh, that is not going anywhere. It's because uh, they they are still uh, issues about the 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 um, uh, 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 fair use, mm -hmm. and also they they don't consider the um, the traditional aspect of of our creativity. Yes. And also at the same time, uh, people with uh, visual in, in impairness are, are mm -hmm. not uh, given you know, a chance yeah. uh, because the they, the more about uh, mm -hmm. they should be able to read mm -hmm. everything that is out there uh, that the able people can read. Mm -hmm. No, so until such uh, uh, you know. Uh, all all those uh, uh, challenges are, are, are faced and, and corrected. Mm -hmm. So the the artists, uh, creatives will be protected. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, you know the the EFF w would uh, deploy. You know me anywhere it it, it deems fit. Mm -hmm. Because of broader broader now. picture mm -hmm. of what is happening, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. So, how do you find the the the, the, the balance there? Do you still get gigs? You, yes, are you, you, you getting booked. Yeah, I I, I do get uh, booked, and uh, of course the EFF is allowing me to be able to do the, you know such uh, mm -hmm. you know uh, actions. Yeah. Yeah. Such a busy person. Do you have time for family? <laughs> yeah. By the way, are you are you are you married uh, with kids? Uh, are you able to find mm. time for them? I'm not married. Mm -hmm. I got divorced uh, after 17 years of uh, separation from my friend, from my confidant, from my wife. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> we finally uh, you know allowed the the divorce to to separate us from the institution of the marriage and uh, i we had a, a very respectful uh, you know relationship and uh, we made a pact that we don't talk about each other uh, uh, you know to a third person, and of course with with the kids as well, and uh, we made uh, a pact that we will take the kids and uh, offer them the right uh, environment for them to grow and be who they want to be. We can't control what they want to be, but at least we try 
as parents to show them the right way that we believe is. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, uh, it is like that. And um, mm. Was it painful? Did you try to sort of mitigate oh, yes, the divorce? Yeah. How, how did you finally uh, allow well, the process to unfold? Yes, we did. You know, uh, look, uh, everything must happen naturally. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, we try and make things work, but they, they would find that there is somewhere where they, 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 they are loggerheads and then realize, okay, maybe this is the problem. And it's not like problems that, that you can easily just take out and change. No. It's personality. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, and we accepted that. So it's cool. It's all right. Mm-hmm. Uh, after 17 years, we we allowed it to happen. <laughs> that must be really... Oh, but, oh, but then, you know... Yeah. You know she's, now you've made peace with everything. She's, oh, she's my best friend. Yeah. Mm. You still talk? Oh. <laughs> yeah, if it's not uh, the, uh, every second day, the third day. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I won't go into <laughs> deep into other questions, <laughs> but I wanted to sure. to, mm. to to understand. Um, are you are, are you happy now where you are, and uh, are the kids fine as well? And mm. how many are they, by the way? Seven. Oh, okay. Mm. He's got seven kids. Mm. Uh, same mother. No. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I cool <quit> Africa. <laughs> so sure. <laughs> yeah. So now I want us to uh, dip into the challenges uh, within the music industry affecting mm. your colleagues, your fellow artists. Uh, if you may share with us some of the pressing challenges that artists uh, go through that are grappling with and... Um, what could be the solutions to those problems, if any? Well, it's uh, well, one of the things is the 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 ownership of their work, mm-hmm. uh, the the collection societies that are robbing them, mm-hmm. um, the 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 un uh, availability of access. To galleries as 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 the you know the mm-hmm. the the artists who who are, who are really like uh, yeah mm-hmm. doing it <clears throat> and uh, the um, <clears throat> excuse me yeah basically just the the all all the 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 the, um, the means of production mm-hmm. you know uh, is is run by you know, uh, uh, people who, who got money. Mm-hmm. But as I've said before, that uh, nowadays artists uh, can record everything and upload it mm-hmm. globally, and, and it makes them happy. Look, I'm a piano, uh, they, they're all over the world. Yeah. And it's a good thing. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, uh, you know, EFF would be, you know, coming up with them. With, uh, uh, plans in, in of having to direct and uh, organize uh, the collective societies that will do this distribution mm-hmm. fairly. Mm-hmm. And also, um, if uh, artists are, are, are really struggling in, in getting the studio and, and record, they'll be given you know, space to go and record so that they can be able to, you know, sell their their their, their music, mm-hmm. and uh, so the main thing is also uh, artists should just stand up and, and uh, fight, you know, for themselves and they must be fighters. Oh, for sure, <laughs> for sure, sure, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. absolutely. And you're talking about access to recording studios, the EFF manifesto. Uh, talks at length about that, the solution about uh, what the EFF government is going to do when it takes over. And um, I remember one of the points is that the EFF is going to build uh, recording studios in Mm -hmm. each and every uh, municipality Mm. in South Africa. Will that uh, definitely uh, address the the challenges that our artists are facing now? Yes, and uh, not 
hundred percent addressing, but also artists should should know that they must take charge of oh. of themselves. You know, uh, I mean, the FF government will loan uh, recording and musical equipment to to those artists who who who, want, who are very genuinely wanting to make it. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, and partly subsidize. You know, the 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 whole creation. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, yes, as you say that. Organizers, uh, the, the 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 advertisers also mm -hmm. should get on board, yeah, and want to hear our music as well. Because the main thing is like if when when whenever we find this um, uh, quota system, mm -hmm. that they they would play our music forty percent and sixty percent of uh, other uh, other countries' music. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I won't say international, but but we are also international. Yeah, <laughs> of foreign you know, uh, music. Mm -hmm. It's because the advertisers wanted to be and they refused to to have our music uh, being played mm -hmm. in their own slots that mm -hmm. they buy in these, uh, you know, radio stations. Mm -hmm. And for the first time um, in your music career, your music goes digital. Mm -hmm. uh, was it 2023? It was 20... Yeah, 23. Yeah, yeah, it went uh, digital. Oh. Now we can access it on across April, all yeah. the mm. digital uh, platforms. Sure. How was your first impression when you first heard that now your music can be accessible uh, digitally? Look, it was, it was the first time I remember that uh, I, 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 I was told that my music would be available everywhere. Mm -hmm. And remember, I, I grew up uh, with my music uh, being sold as... Vinyls, LPs, cassettes, oh, yeah. and CDs. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, and um, when uh, the the record company that that I was with um, died down, so I took my music back, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, and so I didn't know what to do with it because now everything is digital. And remember. Uh, this uh, technology needs someone who knows how to deal with it. Otherwise, my music will be available and, and uh, it will be hacked everywhere and me, without me getting anything. To be pirated. <laughs> to be pirated. <laughs> <laughs> In a yeah. Very good, yeah. <laughs> sure. Mm. Okay. So <clears throat> there were also claims that uh, you have left the EFF to focus on your music uh, uh, career. Where were these uh, claims uh, emanating from? You see, there there are journalists who who are pretending to be journalists, but they are embedded in 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 all these publications mm -hmm. to 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 deal with political parties. Mm -hmm. uh, someone heard that I was, uh, you know, releasing my music digitally. And uh, for the first time, and I was like, yeah, instead of writing mm -hmm. that story, mm -hmm. he or she changed the story into Ringo living EFF and all that, wanting to hurt my organization, mm -hmm. wanting to create uh, confusion, and also wanting to, um, um, to, to break down the... the the love that the young artists, also the old ones, you know, uh, mm -hmm. got to to be for the EFF, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, so all those uh, um, you know stories, you know, the the is the it is because of these uh, you know journalists mm -hmm. who are hell bent into you know wanting to to hurt the organization. Mm -hmm. It's all nonsensical. Yeah. And mm -hmm. unfounded. And talking about so. uh, bad journalism, by mm -hmm. the way, now there's mm -hmm. uh, unfounded reports about the city of Ekuruleni having uh, gotten, um, you know, adverse uh, audit outcome, uh, which is completely uh, contrary to the reality because mm -hmm. the city of Ekuruleni under the MMC of Finance Commissar uh, Nkolelele has in fact achieved a clean oh, audit, for sure. but the, the 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 media is not uh, you know reporting about that because it is the EFF. But what is uh, 
significant is that the EFF is leading by example. Oh, yes. And the EFF always it does what it says it will do. Uh, because uh, one of its cardinal pillars is of that of open government, a corrupt, free government, and we exactly. have demonstrated exactly. that in the in the it's, city it's, of Ekurleni. It said, it said, you know, um, Titus, when when they would uh, chase our M- MMC, mm-hmm. when 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 she wants to unblock sewage. Oh yes, you know uh, yes. that is so um, pathetic. Yes, that is so pathetic. Yeah, how how can they do that? But I mean, EFF wants to fix these things. Mm-hmm. So the government of today, ANC, wants to keep it that way. Mm. Let our people live in, 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 in stinking environment. Yeah. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's vote in the Kenny government. Uh, yeah, you know. Now, yeah. yeah, I want us to <clears throat> uh, uh, talk a bit about... Um, the 2024 mm. general election, right. the EFF right. will be uh, contesting the hotly contested yes. uh, uh, general elections mm. on the 29th of May. Now, looking. We're taking it. Of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, course. Would you urge uh, uh, artists to vote for the EFF? Obviously. And mm-hmm. look, the EFF was the only party mm-hmm. that got on the corner of artists during the the pandemic, mm-hmm. uh, the, you know, uh, uh, confusion and death when the COVID was, you know, killing people and when they, there was no um, performances allowed. Remember, artists, mm-hmm. uh, they, they, they can only live and, and perform when there is a group of people. So if mm-hmm. it is uh, illegal to, to, to group together, where are the artists going to perform? But the EFF was there to help young and old artists to come in and and, and pay them in the in, in the rallies mm-hmm. and uh, and and also you know pay those that that were with EFF before, even though they did nothing, just give them money because they realized that they cannot make any money. And on on, on top of that, um, when 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 the 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 Winnie Mandela uh, uh, you know mm-hmm. house mm-hmm. the 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 home of EFF was was being launched mm-hmm. an artist uh, was put in a very prominent space there who else does that the EFF the EFF only mm-hmm. now with all those I mean EFF becoming the one that that takes artists into Parliament. Mm-hmm. Fight for 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 their uh, uh, colleagues you know, like rights and everything. The real artists, not just people who pretend to be artists, mm-hmm. creatives, to be there and 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 you know pass laws that will protect other artists. It is the EFF who who put those artists there. Now, there is no question about it. Artists should be rallying and vote for EFF. If any artist is not doing that, that artist is bought not to do it, but they know the truth about EFF. EFF is the house, the home, and the protection of artists here at home. Mm. So artists must go and vote for EFF. Mm-hmm. No question about it. Yeah. What, do, what, what is it that you would like to be remembered for when you're they? no more? What is it that you would like to be remembered for when you're no more? That guy who loves to make people happy and yeah. full of love. Mm-hmm. Love all the way. Love all the way. And unity. Tolerance. Tolerance. Mm. Meaning Africa must unite. The, you see... If there's anything that I would I would wish to uh, you know throw magic on it mm-hmm. is for Africans to love one another. You see, when my president, mm-hmm. commander in chief, go out and fight and talk and for Africans, you know, you see the love. Mm-hmm in his face, in his tone, in his voice. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I feel like 
he needs to go and relax. Mm -hmm. You know? And that is the love that we Africans need to have for each other. You know, the, the, the tolerance that, that you need to have for each other. Mm -hmm. uh, the unity that is paramount mm -hmm. for us to grow. Mm -hmm. Africa is the richest yeah. continent in the world. Mm -hmm. We cannot just let it go down just like that. All these uh, wars that are created by the West, people should just stand up and say, not anymore. Mm -hmm. Let's get together now. Let's build Africa. Come on now. Let's build Africa. <laughs> Let's build Africa. Yes. Uh, we talked about uh, Vumakam Nandi mm. earlier on. Um, now, I want us to get to the genesis of uh, Vumakam Nandi because... Vumakam Nandi is undoubtedly uh, a national anthem, a revolutionary song For that sure. is, of course, going to usher in economic freedom. For sure. Uh, in our lifetime. In our lifetime, definitely. And, uh, yeah, talk us through that. Uh, what was happening? Like, did you see this becoming a hit song that it is now? <laughs> no. Uh, it, it's not easy. Uh, it never is uh, a, 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 a clear thinking point where one would say, I am making a hit song right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I got this call from Utok Chandlu's. At uh, come, uh, let's let's work on 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 on. Um, I I knew that I, I, I was to come in and work on the production of um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the fifth uh, jazz hour. So, um, so that day is like. Yes, I know you, you have your own songs that, that you, you, you bring, but mm -hmm. listen to this one. Um, so he said, listen, the, the, this, I, I want you to take this song and breathe it and live it. Yeah. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm like, yeah, okay. He said, yeah, uh, it needs to. And then, um, you know, the a, a young guy there that was mm -hmm. dealing with the, with the, with the with the music, and also uh, Tepo Gavu on 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 the buttons there, beautiful yeah. people, you know, and uh, we rope in um, Usenzo uh, Mzimela no no te Ustimbi on uh, trumpet and and um, uh, trombone mm -hmm. to come with that. <laughs> yeah, you know. Man, and I, I remember when 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 um, when the president, you know, came and, and listened to the song in the studio. Mm -hmm. He's like, "What? Incredible!" And, and then he wanted to to add more speakers in the studio. <laughs> so he really loved uh, the song, and I knew mm -hmm. that uh, the song is perfect for the 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 tenth year of the organization mm -hmm. as the little son. Yeah. I'm a fighter figile quilly shoe. Fight on the day for my gum. Could you papa do a piece of pa? My three year old son loves that song. Oh. Especially that part when it goes, oh, oh. oh. You, you know, like when, when I was singing yeah. that, I was picturing myself on, on a mountain. Calling, calling everyone, come and listen, come and listen, you know. Okay. And uh, and 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 Jordan Lewis is, is you know like sitting there like yes, yeah, that's the one, that's you know. How we do it. Let's that, go. Uh, yeah. And um, you know, uh, look, sometimes it 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 um it makes me laugh when when some of the ANC guys, you know, I will find them playing the song. And when I come in, they, they, <laughs> they switch off. No, 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 no. They, they, they don't. They, but then they, they, they don't mention the, the, the name of, of, of uh, the president. But uh, now they just mute. Uh, no, no, no. They, they, they talk over it. So oh. that. <laughs> so the, the ANC people play Vogue oh, Amnand. Oh, they do. People play. Wow. People love the song. You know, they love the song. It's unavoidable. They, they, cannot, they cannot avoid it. It's, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. And 
I guess uh, that's when they realize that they they can do nothing but to allow the EFF to grow mm-hmm. in leaps and bounds all over, and eventually taking over the country on the 29th mm-hmm. of May. Yeah, it's time. Wow, it should be happening. It should. It should be happening so that do it. The, the the people are free. Mm-hmm. The time is now. Where Omar Kulu, Otam Kulu, who never thought possible that they, they, they would, their lives would change. They have to. Where people who went to school with all their degrees but mm-hmm. having nothing. When the EFF is going to be saying, here's your 5,000, here's you, because you went to school. Mm-hmm. Come and get it. And encourage and influence yeah. everyone to go to school. Mm-hmm. Well, seriously, it cannot be uh, right that someone with no metric having to receive the same money as someone who's got four or five degrees. No, it doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. You know, so when the EFF, when, not if, <laughs> sure, when, when. It takes over. Yes. All that will be reality. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm. What is the one thing that uh, you would like to share with our audience, Your the fighters are watching, Mm -hmm. everyone watching this uh, podcast? Mm. What would you like to share with us? I love black people with all my heart. And... uh, I I just want anyone and everyone who is capable to make it. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyone and everyone who needs to be anywhere mm-hmm. should know that the EFF is there to make it possible. Uh, and love. Love, love. Love. All the way. And love. Yeah, Let's unity, just unity, tolerance. Utan. Utan. Oh, utan. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Ubunye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 All the way. Mm-hmm. All the way. Yeah. Someone, I can see, they're trying to say, can you just tell him to sing for us? <laughs> Before he leaves, <laughs> I know in the comment section, so I was like, but he didn't but, sing but for he us. Didn't <laughs> yeah, just a mm. parting shot, and we're done. Mm. <laughs> hey, F F, you gonna E F F, yeah, gonna we E F F, you gonna. E F F yeah kona we tande izo tanda ah E E F I just I'm doing this now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this one is unplugged. It's no, unreleased. No, 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 it's a no. new song. <laughs> no, it just came now. As, is as, it? As, as wow. I'm talking to. Mm. Wow, brilliant. Uh, fighter so, um, uh, Ringo Madlingo, we mm. want to take this opportunity and uh, uh, take off my hat. To say thank you very much for honoring this invite. I really appreciate all the wisdom that you have shared with us. Definitely the people of South Africa are going to the polls and they know what to do. They only need to vote one political party that cares for them. EFF. The EFF. Definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Sure. So ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of uh, today's uh, uh, one of the most uh, uh, thought-provoking uh, shows uh, the EFF uh, podcast has offered. We want to take this opportunity and thank you as well for your viewership. Please continue subscribing and, of course, liking this uh, podcast on the EFF YouTube channel. If you want to uh, get to know the ins and outs of the EFF manifesto, please go to the EFF uh, website at uh, EFF. Uh, online.org you will definitely get to know what the EFF uh, manifesto the plan of action ahead of the 2024 general election is all about my name is Titus Tungu until we meet again good kanmamba stand up south africa make sure
but South Africa, you are counted with me. Run South Africa, stand and make sure that our people understand that the need to be revolution in South Africa is guaranteed that under the EFF, this country will be the better. EFF is a covert thing.